Colorful. Today I'm going to do a game review on Richard Scary's airport game. It's a really fun game that my kids enjoy, so I'm going to show you how we do it. So first off, you have your airport. You have your two dice. And on each dice, there's airplanes and passengers. You have all your passengers set up. So there's four destinations. There's the forest, the beach, the city, and the mountain. There's four airplanes to hold the passengers. And there's four of these. And the, each one's different. So mountain, city, beach, forest. So the object of the game is whoever's turn it is, they drop the dice in the tower. So I have one person and one destination. Since my plane does not have any people in it yet, I cannot fly anywhere. So I have to pick one person. So I pick that person. I'm picking four. So I put it in here. So just for the sake of it, I'm gonna roll again. So this is the person in the airplane. So let's say it was my turn again, where everybody's going. Oh, I had the thing on crooked. Okay, so now this time I roll just the one and two people. So I can't get three people. I have to choose which ones. So obviously I'm gonna choose the greater one. So I'm just gonna choose two people. And because I want to try and get as many souvenirs as I can, because uh, let's say you land on a de destination and it only has one destination. If you land on this, I would be able to drop off however many passengers I have for that destination. So let's say I fill this up with all forest passengers. Even if I land on this and I only get to go to one of my destinations, I get to pick up three souvenirs. So I'm going to put my two forests. Two more forests, and you can mix it up if you want. I don't really tell my kids how they have to do it, but I know the object of the game is to get as many points as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend like it's my turn again, I'm rolling. Okay, so I finally rolled a destination, which is the airplane. So I'm gonna fly to the forest behind, you. behind me. So I would fly my airplane, and normally we have it more spread out, like normally we'll have it all around our living room and stuff, but just for the sake of the video. So I would fly my airplane to the forest. I would pull all three passengers out because I have their all forest. If I had one that was another passenger, I would not be able to pull them out. So since I have three passengers I was able to drop off, I get to pull three souvenir cords. You take them, you put them in your cargo container and fly back to the airport. Once all the um, players have played, once all the little people have been picked up, then you're and everybody's done their destination so you get to a point where you only obviously get one more roll so you may end up with a passenger still stuck in your plane at the very end of the game because once the last person picks the last passenger everybody gets one more roll after that so let's say it's the end of the game everybody's gone all the passengers are gone at that point you pull out all your uh, souvenirs and whatever player has the most points they win so for instance I have seven eight points so if somebody else had 10 you know they beat me if they had four then obviously I'd win so it's a really easy game it's a pretty quick game it's really fun and my kids really this is their favorite game right now that we play and I just love the little characters and the little tower for the dice so super simple toddlers can definitely play it go so what do you have okay so you have nobody in your plane yet so you would get to pick how many people Two. Two people. I want to go city like that. This is a new mountain. Okay, so which one are you going to pick? I'm going to pick mountain. Alright. Two, I just had my mountain. Did you drop the other No, you drop the other one, baby. Okay, you get to pick how many people? One. Two. Two. You see, I'm like... Got a pig note and a fox go to a beach. Put whatever on top of them and go to do this. We got a sea door, so it means to go on a beach. And this kind of mountain means go to a mountain. Okay, my turn now. Okay, Elizabeth, no. put yours in there. No. 
real. Okay, you get to bring yours to one spot. So you have the beach and the forest. Pick one of the, which one do you want to go, the forest or the beach? Okay, so you remember how to do it? Fly in person there. Pick one souvenir card and drop one person off. Have All right, fall back. back. Okay. Anything Mommy's there? turn. Anything I get to pick. Okay, so we've reached the end of the game. We've all dropped off what we could. Her last roll, she didn't get any destination, so that's why her plane still has people in it. So let's pull out our, our souvenir cords, girls, and let's count them and see how many. I got four in this one. Okay, so let me see. Mommy's going to count hers first. I got a four, a two, so that's six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine points. And I got three. Let me help you out. Three and four, and I got two. So she has two, four, so that's six, seven, eight, I nine, three. ten. So, so far, she has three. ten. Three and three. Let's see. So you got, three, right okay, so you got three and three is six. I got more than Seven, you. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Isabella's the winner. Yeah. She got 13 points and she had 10 and I had, I think nine I said. So Isabella won the game because she got the most points and that's how you play the game. Okay, so y'all just saw us play the Richard Scary Airport game. Uh, you can see it's a really fun game. It's relatively easy. You can do it within a couple minutes. So the kids love it. They get to put their little people in. They get to walk about the room. We usually have it pretty spread out in our living room to the where they have to go further than just right there on the carpet like we were, but you could do it either way. So let me tell you what I don't like about the game. So the main, I'd say the main con of this game is just this. This right here, you're normally supposed to take it apart every time. But I find that if you were to take it apart every time, the uh, cardboard would eventually wear and tear on here. So we actually keep ours together. So unfortunately, the only thing is that our box does not close all the way. You can see it's a little gap, so we cannot close all the way. But to me, it's worth it just to have that little gap than to take those airplanes apart every time because you're going to end up having wear and tear on the game. And the same thing can kind of happen with the little characters when you're taking them in and out of the little airplane. So you may have to help your kids with getting it in and out just so they're not like trying to force it in there because the edge can tear on the cord. But other than that, I mean, I really don't have anything else that I don't like about the game. I think it's a cute game. I think it's a fast play, which is great for young kids who do not have short, uh, do not have long attention spans. So I would recommend this game. I would just be careful of those two details of the game. And setup's very easy. The only thing you really have to set up, besides uh, putting the mats everywhere in the room and the little souvenirs on the mats, is you put this little tower. But it's super simple. You just attach it uh, on the other side, but. You just attach it on the box like so and set it up and then the little mats I'll show you what those look like that you put the souvenirs on so this is the mountain and you see this cute little scene my daughter like they like pick where they want their person to go they don't just put it on there like me and then you have the spot where souvenirs and that is where you put the little souvenir cords that they go and pick up and you just leave the person on there. So that's the mountain one. Same thing with the forest. So you have the little souvenir thing. So each one has a cute little scene. Then let's see the beach. Souvenirs right there. So there's a lot going on at the beach. And this is the city. And again, your souvenir stand. And I'm just gonna show you really quickly what some of the little souvenirs, I guess, look like and the little peep and the people that you pick up just so you have an idea. So for instance, this is the city. So that's how that's what you're counting at the end to see who won. So they have shirts and little figurines and little airplanes and Empire State Building. Okay. Then the beach. 
So the beach has, you can see a couple different souvenirs. Shells, beach towels, lighthouse. Then the forest one, and this is, So you got some fish, some bears, some pine cones, a little birdhouse. And then the mountain. And the mountain has a snow globe, the mittens, the cups, and you can see I never really looked at it too well. It looks like some candies. And I don't know if I showed you the back of these. So yeah, that's what they look like. So then your passengers, let me see, here's my passengers. So let me show you what the little passengers look like that you're dropping off. I always love these Richard Scary games because they're so cute. So that's one of the beach. I'll show you all the beach ones. See your little beach passengers. Then we have, oop, they kind of fell out of my hand for a second there, okay. This is your mountain passengers. This is, you get the city. And then this is your forest ones. This is your forest. See your forest and that's all the little pieces. And then of course you have your airplanes. So you've got a green one, a yellow pencil one, which is the one I think is super cute. And then your blue and your red. And that's all the pieces related to the game. And then, you know, the look inside at your um, airport. See, and your two dice. So this concludes my review of the Richard Scary Airport game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, click to subscribe. I'm actually going to show you uh, several Richard Scary things, like some books I have of Richard Scary that we love. I have another game review for the Richard Scary Busy Town and an activity book. So click on the links below if you want to see those. And thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.